Good day everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video we want to solve for x and we are given x plus 3 squared is equal to 3 squared. There are two ways to solve this problem and the first one I'm going to apply is to open up this bracket on the left hand side and express 3 squared as 9. To open up this bracket I'm going to multiply x plus 3 by itself because I have squared here. This will mean x plus 3 being multiplied by x plus 3. And then on the right hand side, I have 3 squared, which is 9. So x into x plus 3 plus 3 into x plus 3 is equal to 9. This means x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9 is equal to 9. x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to 9. If I bring this 9 to the left hand side, I'm going to have x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. 9 minus 9 is 0. This gives me x squared plus 6x. This is 0, so I will leave it at that, is equal to 0. I will then factorize because I have x in both terms so i have x into brackets x plus 6 is equal to 0. this means that either x is equal to 0 or x plus 6 is equal to 0. From the first one, the solution is already obvious, x is equal to 0. And from the second one, x is equal to minus 6. So we have two solutions from this problem. Alternatively, we can solve this in another way. So another way to solve this problem will be to transfer 3 squared to the left hand side like this and then apply the difference of 2 squares principle. Remember if you have a squared minus b squared this can be expressed as a minus b times a plus b. In this case, our a is x plus 3 and our b is 3. So I have x plus 3 minus 3. And then x plus 3, then plus 3, equal to 0. From the first bracket, 3 minus 3 is 0, so I have x. And then from the second bracket, 3 plus 3 is 6, so I have x plus 6. Leading back to something similar to what we did in the first method. So from here we see clearly that either x is equal to 0 or x plus 6 is equal to 0. This is already solved. x is equal to 0 is a solution and then x is equal to minus 6 is the second solution. So either way, 
using the first method or the second method the solutions remain zero or negative six. Going to check i'm putting x you know we have x plus three when x is zero i have zero plus three then squared and this is supposed to give us 3 squared. 0 plus 3 is 3. 3 squared is 3 squared. And then equals to 3 squared. Now, this is the first part. For the second part, when x is minus 6, I have negative 6 plus 3 squared is equal to 3 squared. If you subtract this negative 6 plus 3, you get minus 3 squared is equal to 3 squared. Now let's get rid of these brackets. To get rid of the bracket, we say minus 3 times itself. So we have minus 3 times minus 3 is equal to 3 squared. Minus times minus is plus, and 3 times 3 is 3 squared. Confirming that both our solutions are correct. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video.